Hello, everyone. Welcome uh, to yoga. This is a 15-minute uh, gentle flow specifically for people who maybe have trouble putting pressure on their knees or some other type of uh, knee injury. I'm joined with my mom today. Um, yeah, so let's get started. We'll start at the top of the mat. You can have the feet together, shoulders rolling down the back. Press down into the floor and stand up nice and tall, feeling your abdominals drawing in. Shoulders drawing down the back and lengthening out through your neck. Begin to breathe deeply in through the nose and out through the nose. Feeling your breath draw all the way down into the belly and then filling up through the rib cage and then finally into the collarbones and then exhaling in the opposite direction, first from the collarbones and then from the rib cage and then from the belly. One more deep breath. Filling up from bottom to top and then pressing up from top to bottom. On the next inhale, let's go ahead and inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Look up nice and tall and then reach the hands out to a T and let's turn and step to our left feet out slightly. We'll bend the elbows and the knees, and then inhale to reach up nice and tall. Exhale, elbows and knees, inhale tall. Good, make sure you're pressing into the floor, only going as low as you feel comfortable with, imagining your back is tracing down a wall behind you, which means that you're upright and not letting your butt stick out behind you. And then one more time, let's hold this one down a little bit lower. So again, only going as far as you feel comfortable with your knees. You can bring your forearm all the way down into your thigh and reach over, or you can be lifted up a little bit higher. And then over to the other side, reaching out through the sides of the body. Inhaling as you move to one side, rooting down through your feet, reaching out through your arms. And then let's meet up through the center, straighten out through your legs, reach the arms out to the side, inhale, look up nice and tall, and exhale, fold forward and down over the legs here. So you can always walk easier for your hands to touch the, the ground. <clears throat> and one knee side and bending the other. And again, just going as far as you're comfortable with. And so you can really, you could let yourself come all the way down here. Comfortable for you. Trying to loosen up through the hips and through the ankles. And then let's meet back into the center. Hands to your hips and then stand all the way up nice and tall. Let's turn back towards the front of the mat and step both feet together. Inhale to reach your hands up nice and tall and then exhale to fold forward and down. Stepping your right leg back behind you into a nice high lunge. Now, if you wanted to set your knee down, you could use a towel or an extra mat or something underneath your knee, but we're just gonna keep it lifted in case you don't have those items lying around. Take a deep breath, drawing your shoulders down your back. And then press your palms into the mat Step your left leg back to meet your right into a plank position here. Good. Pressing down strong through the feet. Push the ground away. Feel your abdominals hug in towards your spine. One more deep breath. And let's lift the hips going straight back into a downward facing dog. Pedaling out through the feet if you like. Stretching through the calves. Really feeling your hips reach up towards the ceiling. So it's okay if you want to bend through your knees a little bit. And on an inhale, looking up between your thumbs, let's reach the left leg up towards the ceiling. And then draw the knee in towards the nose. It's okay if it doesn't make it all the way forward on the first try, you can help it with the other hand. And now we're on the other side. So this time let's inhale, reach our hands up towards the sky. Take one more deep breath. And then exhale, bring the hands down on either side of the foot. Step your right foot forward to meet your left. 
Inhale to halfway lift. Draw the shoulders down the back, bend through the knees to flatten through the spine. And then exhale, fold forward and down here. Thinking of the crown of the head reaching towards the mat. On an inhale, reaching your hands all the way around and up, palms touch and draw down to the center of the chest. Okay, other side. Well, inhale to reach the hands up, look up, press the hips forward. Exhale, fold forward and down. <coughs> this time, uh, <coughs> which leg are we on? <laughs> I think it's, um, yeah, the right one goes back first this time. Okay, and then we'll find our runner's lunge on this side because this is the side. Yeah, we switched it halfway through. <coughs> okay, breathing here. And then pressing into the hands, stepping back into your plank position, holding here, feeling like you can press the back side of your body up um, into the ceiling or towards the sky. <laughs> And then let's lift the hips to downward facing dog. <laughs> okay, we can cut it, mom. Here, just just come back to your, get out of the way. <laughs> That'll be a blooper. I know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's start again in plank. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and then let's lift the hips to downward facing dog. pressing the ground away, and then reaching your right heel up towards the ceiling, looking forward between your thumbs, step your foot between your hands. Whoop. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll inhale to reach our hands up. So we're in our lunge here. Lengthen. And then as you exhale, reaching your hands down on either side of the foot, let's step the left leg forward to meet the right. Forward fold. Keep the knees softly bent. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and deepen. And then inhale, reach your hands around and up. Palms touch and hands draw down to the center of the chest. Okay. Stepping your left leg back behind you and windmilling it out, coming into our warrior two. So your right toes are facing towards the short edge of your mat and your left foot is kind of angled a little bit forward to the, the corner. You're turning just your head, shoulders are relaxed to look over your right fingers. We'll flip the palms to face up and then sh reach your hands up towards the sky as you straighten out through your front leg, look up. And then exhale, press down. And inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, press down. One more time, inhale. And then exhale, holding here. So let's reach our left hand down, either on the side of your body or you can reach around for your um, other hip and then straighten up for your front leg, reach your right arm behind you. And then let's move into our triangle pose, sending the hips back and your right hand down. So if you have a block, you can bring the block underneath your hand, rolling your shoulders open. And your hand can be extended, turning to look up towards it, or you can keep it in the back pocket, really opening, twisting through the upper part of your back here. On an inhale, we'll press up nice and tall, and let's just pivot the legs. So turning your toes so the left toes are towards the short edge, right foot is slightly angled, moving into our warrior two on this side. So we're aiming to one day have a 90 degree bend in the knee, but taking your time getting there. Gazes over your left fingers. Turn your palms to face up and then press the ground away. Reach your hands up towards the sky and then exhale, press down. And inhale, reach up. And exhale, press down one more time inhale exhale let the shoulders drop down away from the ears nice <clears throat> we'll take our right hand around into our back pocket or it can be on the side of your leg and then <clears throat> we'll reach forward do you know what we <laughs> I don't know 
Yeah. No, I think we, we did this, didn't we? <laughs> I don't know what we did. <laughs> okay. And then we'll stand up nice and tall, straightening out through both legs. Lean your hips towards the back and then reach forward and down. Left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Coming into our triangle pose. See, I don't teach for three days and I forget how to do everything. Good for you. <laughs> Take one more deep breath here, reaching out from fingers to fingers, or maybe your hand is in your back pocket. And then we'll push the ground away, stand up nice and tall, and turn the feet. Let's pivot back towards the front of the mat, stepping forward. Inhale to reach your hands up. And then exhale to fold forward and down, keeping a bend at the knees so you can maintain a long back. Bend your knees enough so you can get your hips all the way down onto the mat. Plant your feet. And we're going to roll all the way down. <clears throat> so you can reach your hands out in front of you. Nod your chin to your chest and slowly articulate down one vertebra at a time. Okay. Have your hands by your side. Take your right leg. Reach it up towards the ceiling. Just flex and point through your foot, wiggling out through your toes. Okay, and now really flex through the foot, reach the heel down towards the mat, and then point the toes lifted up. So flex to lower and point to lift, thinking of keeping your pelvis neutral the whole time. And two, and one, and then point the toes, reach the legs straight up towards the sky, and we'll do some small circles here. So you're trying to keep your hips still as your leg is moving. And so this is really good for strengthening through um, the hips, which will help take some pressure off of the knee. And let's circle in the other direction. So really reaching out through your toes, thinking of both sides of the hips staying pressing down. And four, three, two, one. Okay, and then let's set the foot down. It's hot. Adjust your head so that way it's a little bit like your chin's a little bit more tucked in. There you go. Good, then reach your shoulders down. Now let's go to the other side. Flex your foot. Oh, the ankle thing. Wait, we gotta move the ankle around, wiggling your toes. Mom, wait, we're on this one first. There you go. I hope you can't hear the dogs barking in the background. Okay, now flex to lower the foot down and point to lift. And two, and one, and then point through your foot, starting some little circles here. Trying to keep your hips still, pull down through the shoulders, think press through the back of your head, pull the abdominals in. It's like the front side of your body is pushing the back side of your body into the mat. And let's reverse the direction for four, three, two, and one. Good, okay, let's set the left leg down and cross your right ankle over your left knee, taking a little stretch here. If it's comfortable, you can reach your hands around, grabbing behind your left thigh. And if not, you can always just leave your foot um, grounded, especially if you start to feel tension through your neck. Let's take two more deep breaths here. And then let's switch sides. So right leg is down, left ankle crosses over the right knee. And you can thread your hands through and around the right leg. No, oh, copper. <laughs> okay, and then slowly uncross the legs. Uh, and you can stay here and uh, pause the video for a little um, shavasana or final relaxation. We are going to rock ourselves up to a seated position. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thank you, Mom, for joining me. For a little flow. Namaste. <laughs>